Hi friends, in this segment we're gonna see the prose Kathmandu. This prose Kathmandu brings out the details from Vikram Seth's story from his book Heaven Lake. It has been described with vivid imagery of the capital city of Nepal along with the author's feelings. On his route from China to India, the author was supposed to visit the neighboring lands of Nepal and Tibet. There, he went to Nepal's capital city, Kathmandu. He visited the Pashupatinath temple and the Baudhanath stupa. Stupa means Buddhist architecture. And he noticed several differences between the places and the surrounding ambiences. He saw that the Pashupatinath temple was a Hindu pilgrimage site and the Baudhanath temple was for Buddhist. In the Pashupatinath temple, the author noticed that entry was allowed only to the Hindus. This led to chaos between the pilgrims as well as priests. There, the river Bagmadi is getting polluted by people washing their clothes, throwing flowers and waste in it. People also take bath in that river water. Later, he went for a visit to the Baudhanath temple where he found the scenario to be different. There was a huge white colored dome in the Buddhist temple. The entire place was filled with calmness. There was a Tibetan market outside of the temple where bags, ornaments, cloths and other such things were being sold by people. The author discovered that Kathmandu was a place filled with various tourist destinations as well as religious sites. There were numerous shops selling cameras, antiques, chocolates, cosmetics and other things. The cacophony of the car horns Music at lasers and the ventures calling for the products made the city quite a noisy one. The author enjoyed a bar. He will have Coca-Cola and corn during his visit. There, he spent time reading romantic stories, comic books, as well as Reader's Digest books. He decided to go for an adventurous route to Delhi by bus or by boat or a train journey. He later dropped his idea, thinking of it to be a tiresome one. This made him to book a flight. The author come across a flute seller near his hotel who seemed interesting, honing a pole consisting of many flutes, making him look like a porcupine. This flute seller played different tunes with his flutes. Our author felt that the seller was standing out in front of other such flute sellers only because he was playing his tunes thoughtfully. He kept playing his instruments without streaming for customers. This got the author attracted, making him think about the commonness of flutes. Vikram Seed started comparing human voices to the music produced from the flute. This made him realize the fact that he was able to notice the little things in the world. In our life too, we should possess the ability to enjoy little things. I hope you could have understood this prose. Stay tuned with Landing Station for more videos. Thank you.